Alright, now I'm going to go to the next seminar. I'm going to from the next seminar. I'm going to go to the next seminar. I'm going to go to the next seminar. I'm going to go to the policies to do with Indosonese disease surveillance and the Congo. We have been going to go to the next seminar. I'm going to go to the next into Ukwano, all the Smetis are what is Tile Lama issues on a lap car taking a pool. Yalo Bonati, Sia Fundisana, a woman go for the Somni, Sia Fundisana, Janus Medisan, what is now Tatanga, I think there is a good Sipiska, but Sia was Sipiska. Holders gathered here today are validating uh, the National Disease, Animal Disease Surveillance. Uh, plan that has been developed by a consultant with the assistance of the EU FAO funded uh, SAFE project uh, and what basically that means is they are endorsing the plan as the national plan for disease surveillance. Surveillance is like I said, it's looking for disease, it's uh, compiling the information and then uh, producing policies or inform policies. Basically, a good surveillance plan uh, should have the capability of early disease detection so that when an outbreak of disease occurs, it is picked up early. Then that should be followed by rapid response uh, so that the uh, disease is quickly brought under control in the interests of, uh, of uh, stakeholders and farmers uh, at large. So it's a guiding document that will ensure food safety for all uh, consumers that eat animal dried foods, it should ensure safe trade both locally, regionally and internationally, a, a, a good uh, surveillance plan can always ensure uh, profitable enterprises. Uh, disease is uh, one major limiting factor for any livestock enterprises and there is no better way to have a profitable head than to have uh, healthy animals. No amount of supplemental feeding, no amount of 
genetic improvement that will um, uh, compromise uh, or be as effective as uh, a, a healthy animal. This intervention actually comes uh, in the, it's well documented in our livestock growth plan. Uh, the livestock growth plan, uh, which seeks to develop and grow the livestock um, industry to 2 billion US dollars by 2020. It is an anchor plan of the agriculture and food systems uh, transformation strategy 2021 to 2025, which also seeks to grow the agriculture. Yes, there are new features as we engage stakeholders. Back in 2009, 2014, we had two missions from the World Organization for Animal Health, which looked at our disease control plans, and they found a weakness in that. Uh, we did not have a documented animal disease surveillance plan and that our stakeholder involvement in animal disease control programs was low. So in this strategy, we have invited all stakeholders that have to something that have something to do with uh, animal production. So that's a major feature. It's partnerships for growth. So we are going to move together with all our stakeholders in disease control efforts. All right, and then how important is this particular meeting today, seeing that we have uh, the following the current cases in Matabele and we uh, lost a lot of farmers lost their kiki due general disease? Yes, this uh, meeting today is going to endorse or approve the way we are going to do the livestock production, uh, livestock production industry. How we are going to move forward with disease control uh, measures that we are going to implement. General disease, if we take the diapers a little, is a tick-borne disease that is caused by and through the bite of inf infected brown ear ticks. Basically, the disease moves from one area to the next through movement of tick-infested animals. And that is invariably done by the farmers. So their presence here will ensure that illegal movement of livestock will have to be stopped if we have to be able to control and limit the spread of animal diseases. Like I alluded to when we started, that the mandate of the, the Directorate of Veterinary Services is to stop entry of diseases into Zimbabwe, to stop spread of diseases into Zimbabwe. So uh, we hope and sincerely hope that with the involvement of farmers and of all stakeholders uh, in the uh, livestock value chains, uh, we'll engage will assist in the uh, fight against uh, diseases in general. The broader stakeholders uh, uh, in the country, a plan is only a plan, which is a piece of paper written, well, you know, uh, covered in everything unless it is implemented. So my plea and my request is that all stakeholders here, gathered here, and 
all over the country should help in the implementation of the plan. If the plan is not implemented, we will continue to have lots of diseases and our uh, enterprises will be affected. So let's help to in, uh, implement the plan, let's help to fund the plan, uh, let's partners for growth. I thank you.